Greetings of the day class. This is Ms. Tabassum and today we are going to start a new topic from English grammar that is non-finite verbs. So, let's start. And here it goes. The topic is non-finite verbs. But before starting, let's read some sentences that is on the screen. Travelling improves one's knowledge of the world. Here travelling is a noun. My uncle is travelling to Shanghai next month. Here travelling is a verb. The suffering masses ask the king for help. Here suffering is an adjective. The child is suffering from fever. Here suffering is a verb. Always remember that the word which functions as nouns and adjectives are non-finite verbs. But before moving to non-finite verbs, we must know what a finite verb is and how we can easily differentiate or identify a finite and a non-finite verb. Finite verbs change their form according to the number and person of the subject and the tense of the verb. Examples, as you can see, I am planning to visit my grandparents this summer. They play the piano. Zarif spoke in Arabic when he met his Arabian friend. Remember, finite verbs have present, past and future forms. See the first example. If I change the person of the subject, if I change the I into he, the verb will become he is planning to visit my grandparents this summer. If I change it into they, then it will become they are planning. So, Finite verbs, they change their form according to the number and person of the subject. Second sentence you see, they play the piano. This is in simple past tense. Sorry, this is in simple present tense. But if we change into simple past tense, it will become they played the piano. So, the verbs, it changes according to the number and the person of the subject and also the tense of the Verb. So let's see the non finite verbs. Non finite verbs remain unchanged irrespective of the number and person of the subject and the tense of the verb. They do not indicate tense and function as nouns and adjectives. As I have said, you a very easy way to understand is that it changes their form and it non finite verb it doesn't change their form and non-finite verb as, I, as earlier I have said you acts as nouns and adjectives. See the first example reading is my hobby. Here reading is gerund and the verb. They attempted to find the snake. Here to find is infinitive. In these sentences that is the verb reading and to find they do not change their forms in relation to the person and number of the subject. See, if I say reading was my hobby. Suppose it was earlier my hobby and now I have changed it into listening to music. But am I changing the verb? No. So, in non-finite verbs, it the verb it remains unchanged. Irrespective of the number and the person of the subject and also the tense. Suppose in the second sentence you see, I have written... They attempted to find the snake. The sentence is in simple past tense. But if I write like this, he is attempting to find the snake. Or if I change into they, they are attempting to find the snake. So, is to find changing? No. So, in non-finite verbs, the verb, it remains unchanged. Non-finite verbs are of three types. Infinitives, participles and gerunds. Infinitives, as you can see the structure, two plus verb is the structure. Participles, participles are of three kinds. Present participle, past participle and perfect participle. And the structure as you can see, verb plus ed, d, t, n, n or ing. And the structure of gerund is verb plus ing. Now, let's see what an infinitive is. An infinitive is a non-finite verb in its base form and is usually preceded by the word 
टू सो वी यूज टू प्लस द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब नो लेट सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स आई वॉन्ट टू विजिट द डेंटिस्ट दिस संडे शी फोगेट टू ग्रीट मी ऑन माई बर्थडे टू ट्रेवल टू हॉन्गकॉन्ग वॉज माई डियरेस्ट विश द प्लान इज टू रीच क सॉल बाई टेन ओ क्लॉक टू आर इज ह्यूमन always remember infinitive can be used as subject object and complement of the verb here to visit to greet to travel to reach and to are these are all infinitives we write with to plus the base form of the verb now see where we use with to There are two types of infinitive. One is with to infinitive. The other one is without to infinitive. And without to infinitive is also known as bare infinitive. See, let's see with to infinitive. We use with to infinitive after verbs like offer, promise, wish, hesitate, manage, and refuse. Let's see the examples. Revti wishes to learn a new language. As you can see here, wishes the verb is wishes, and we have used. Two plus infinitive here. Second sentence: Samina hesitated to call us in the middle of the night. Hesitate is the verb here, and this to call is the verb plus infinite. This is infinitive. The fireman managed to break the glass windows and rescue the trapped child. Manage is the verb here, and this is to infinitive. See some examples. You must learn how to look after the sick child. We do not know what to expect in this remote village. Let us decide when to approach our superiors about the matter. So, how to look, what to expect, when to approach these these functions as an object. See how, where, how, what, when, where, whom. These are question words. which are used before the infinitives next we have bare infinitive as i have said bare infinitive means bare means without when an infinitive is used without to it is called a bare infinitive we generally use the infinitive without to after these verbs let hear see watch need and dare always remember we do not use to with this verbs let hear see watch need and dare let's see the examples the first one i heard him play a difficult piece on the violin you can see that here verb and this is pronoun and then again this is infinitive and that also without to infinitive we have used here in the second sentence there is an extra question in the chemistry paper you need not answer it yes whenever there is any modal auxiliary or need then we do not use with to we use without to and that is the bare infinitive next you see we saw the boys fight over who got to bat first so as i have already said you that we do not use to with the c also so here you can see this is the past form of c verb and thus we have used bare infinitive here now let's see some of the uses of bare infinitive the first one as the main verb after modal auxiliaries yes if there is can could may might shall should we do not use to infinitive we always use bare infinitive See the first example. I can walk ten miles at a stretch. Can is here the modal auxiliary, and this is the main verb. So we have used bare infinitive. Second, with verbs such as let, need, make, and be, with these we use bare infinitive. Need, as you can see, this is the verb here, and here call we have used bare infinitive. With verbs like hear, see, watch, know, and feel. I heard them say that he will be here soon. Say is a bare infinitive. With the phrases had better, would rather, would sooner than, and rather than, we always use a bare infinitive with these phrases. See the example. You had better book the tickets now. Had better. So we have used the bare infinitive. We did not write to book. 
with than and but when they mean except so they did nothing but complain so except complaining they did nothing so whenever you we use than and but and it serves the purpose or the meaning of except then we use bare infinitive now here goes the class work fill in the blanks with the infinitive form of the given verb so here you can see some verbs in the uh, bracket watch sleep play post cancel promise come drive quit and eat so i have already filled it the noisy crowd appeared to come down when the batsman took the crease come is the verb here and we have used two infinitive so it has become to come second we decided to sleep off our exhaustion from the journey to sleep he wanted to eat the last cupcake on the plate to eat she went to post the letter after writing it the answer is to post the captains of both teams did not want to play in poor light to play is the answer here the government had to cancel all trains to the flood affected areas to cancel is the answer seventh the children were made to promise that they would behave themselves at the zoo to promise it is not easy to drive on these busy roads to drive it is easy to quit a bad habit if you make up your mind to quit how long will it take you to watch the film to watch so these are all the examples and exercise with the to infinitive now let's move to our homework and let's do the exercise fill in the blanks with the infinitive form of the given verbs used with or without to you had better see the doctor soon see here in the bracket the verb is given and i have already said you that if the phrase in the phrase had better is there then we have to use bare infinitive so the verb will come as it is it will not uh, be written with to next he did not dare challenge me in front of the teacher i have already said you that with dare we use a bare infinitive and thus only challenge we had begun to shop for the wedding ceremony to shop is the answer you didn't bother about the expenses now with the need we do not use to infinitive so here it is an example of bare infinitive 5 she expected to receive a warm welcome at the airport to receive here is an example of to plus infinitive 6 she watched the judge punish the thief as i have already said to you that with watch we use bare infinitive and thus the verb is as it is written there is no time to waste over little things to waste kaveri was allowed to make a call to her parents to make are you ready dash leave now see we have written with the to plus infinitive i was asked to deliver a speech on the occasion deliver is the verb here so to deliver we were wondering when dash for the model united nations happening in our school leave is the verb here so it will be to plus the verb that is to infinitive that is to leave the teacher told the students what to do at the school's founder day ceremony so do is the verb here and it will be to infinitive so to do that's all for the day we'll be reading participles and gerunds in our following classes thank you have a good day